Hi everybody, this is Steven Roselle. I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes showing you how you can use the cool new volume mode for Booleans in Maya 2026 to create some really interesting and pretty complex organic forms. So the way it works is you use regular mesh objects as simple as primitives or just simple objects that you've created otherwise, and you combine them together into a Boolean. And then there's a new mode that allows you to switch that into volumetric Booleans. Now what you'll see is instead of kind of these hard intersections, you get these nice kind of organic forms based on the voxelization. So you have a little control over the voxel size, which gives you control over the density and also of course affects performance. But what you can see here is if you get a few input objects, you can start to experiment with the shape and form of those input objects. And that will in turn change the shape and form of the volume object. So you can change rotation, scale, and position, but you can even get down to a lower level and change the underlying shapes of the inputs and take full advantage of the dependency graph. So here what you'll see is I've built a series of curves that are then using a sweep mesh to build out essentially an extrusion, or like a tube. And then those are being fed into the Boolean stack. And so going all the way upstream to the control vertices, I can change the shape of the curve and then I can start to get these really freeform shapes. And what you can see in this example is that the lower voxel sizes will affect performance. So if you're noticing a lag with interactivity, you can either disable interactive update in the Boolean node, and that way it won't actually refresh until after you've changed or repositioned your input object. Conversely, you can also just temporarily increase the voxel size for improved interactivity and then just lower it once again when you're ready to see a higher quality or higher resolution result. Now the meshing that you get with the volume is fine for visual representation, but it's not a good quality to work with, but you can easily apply a retopology downstream and then you can get very clean quad-based meshes as an end result that you could then continue to sculpt with, or you could even potentially UV or animate directly. It's a really fun new tool for shape exploration, so give it a whirl and let me know what you think.